Andreas, the fixtures have just been announced for the 2019-20 season. It's always a sign that the new campaign is right around the corner. Oh, definitely. It's an exciting part of, of the preparation into the season. And, uh, you know, it's, it's great now. We know the cup competition, the league and everything that is coming our way. And we've got a couple of months now to make sure we finalise our roster and just uh, be ready for the start of the season. Talk about some of those new changes. I know the BBL Cup, 10 games before the regular season starts and also the playoffs, having that three-game series, I know that's something you've always been really pushing for. Oh, definitely. I mean, the new playoff structure, I think it, it adds more credibility to our league as well. I think you see it in a lot of the European competitions in Greece, Spain, that they have that type of performance. So that's definitely got to be really exciting. Um, and also starting with the Cup, it's a good way for the team to gel. Uh, you have those first 10 fixtures, as you say, for the Cup competition and what will come out afterwards. And then the biggest one is the league as well. Now, every league game will matter. You know, you start it in December. And in effect, you only play time, two teams twice. Um, you don't have those extra 10, 11 fixtures that will determine the, the shape of the league and where teams will finish. So every game becomes crucial. And there's no more head-to-head -head situations either. You're playing each team just once home and away. Are there any sort of fixtures that you look forward to in particular when you look down the list? Well, uh, you know, every game matters. And I think that's kind of our approach right now. Um, obviously, the excitement of the first league fixture, I think that would be something uh, to, to be looking forward to, which at the moment is Sheffield at home. Um, and, and, you know, I, I don't think I can pinpoint a game. It's going to be so important. Every game will matter this year and we will need the support of our fans. I think that's for sure. Uh, certainly, though, those first few, the, the Cup first game and the Cup and the League game first game, I think they're going to be big fixtures for us. And the trophy competition, the same format as last year with that bracket format and the excitement, you know, of four non-BBL teams coming in as well. That's something that, you know, Flyers were, were, were doing not so long ago. Yes, definitely, 100%. And I think, as you say, the bracket system, I think it's an exciting format. And uh, we want to... We want to push for some silverware. So the cap, the trophy competitions, they're very important competitions for all teams, I think, an opportunity to, to try to win something. And we're definitely locked into that. And you mentioned at the start about player recruitment, six players confirmed for the team so far, all returning from last year's squad. It's great to have that core of returning guys. Yeah, the core is very important. Consistency has been a key theme for us through our time in the BBL. So we want to maintain that. Uh, there will be some changes in our roster as well. And over the next few weeks, those got to be announced as well. Um, but we want to put a competitive team together. That's for sure. Uh, last year, unfortunately, we're not able to reach the playoffs. Uh, and that was kind of our big goal at the start of the season. So what we want to do is put a competitive roster and, and consistency is a key theme and add kind of a couple of players that would just bring a different dimension to our game as well going into this new season. I know in the past there's always been a nod to promoting the academy and having the academy guys step up into the BBL squad. Is that something we can expect again this season? Yeah, that's got to be a very important aspect of our programme this year. Uh, we're going to have two or three academy players involved on a daily basis with our programme and uh, it would be great to see them on the court playing with uh, the senior players as well. That has always been a, a big theme in terms of what we do. Uh, players like Greg Street have come through our programme, Dwayne Lottio Goulet and uh, Dean Williams, Thomas Okras, and the list goes on. Uh, so I think it's for us to go back to our roots, if you want to say, and have a lot of younger players involved, and, and hopefully they will be able to gain the experience that will help them in their basketball development.